Hi. <clears throat> Hi, everybody, and welcome to my new Diary of the Dead Pit update. I haven't done one of these in such a long time, I think that I've almost forgotten how to do it. But not quite. Because this one, I've been wanting to do this one for a little while. As you all know, uh, about a year ago, I guess, I did a uh, CK's Autograph Collection Part 1. And a lot of people wonder where the hell Part 2 is. Well, you're in luck, motherfuckers, because Part 2 is right now. What I plan on doing is CK's autographed DVDs. And uh, believe it or not, I don't really even like autographed DVDs. Pretty much an autographed DVD is the last resort uh, for me as far as like getting shit signed. Because as you all know, hell, I'll show you again. I'll show you some stuff on this. Since I got this new camera, I can show you. I like to sign. I like to collect sign posters. See, there's the original Friday the 13th signed one sheet. It's original motherfuckers right there. <clears throat> so, anyway, you see some of them behind me there. I want to go through my signed DVDs for you guys. I'm not going to do a, one of those gay-ass random DVD update deals where somebody just takes a fucking video camera and aims it towards their DVD rack and goes wild. Oh my god, DVDs! But I'm randomly going to pick out the signed DVDs I own and tell you, try to tell you a brief story about a few of them, if I can remember it. So, anyway, let's get to the DVDs! So, the Rack of Doom, a, cl a closer view of it. So I want to pick these out. I've got them, some of them randomly, you know, jerked out a little bit so uh, I know what to pick. So let's go ahead and start. First up, 2001 Maniacs signed by our good buddy Tim Sullivan, who we've never had on the show, but he's a great guy. We both sort of talk to him regularly. Uh, and he's a great filmmaker. I don't know why, the you know, 2001 Maniacs was great. Driftwood was just, you know, almost as good, pretty damn good. He signed that for us, signed DVD cover, baby. Pretty sweet movie, though. Not a lot of people talk about this movie anymore, but uh, check it out. If you haven't seen it yet, if you're one of the half dozen some bitches who haven't seen it. <clears throat> Army of Darkness. And yes, people are probably wondering, who the hell signed that? Who the hell signature is that? Robert Kurtzman. Of KMB Effects signed that for me. Good friend of the show. Really liked Bob a lot. Um, some some DVDs people might not. You may be surprised to see these signed in my collection here, but okay, because I don't. I'm not a big fan of these movies. These are the August Underground movies, and uh, Fred Vogue was a really cool guy, and. I just wanted review copies for the show a few years back because I, I hadn't seen these, but uh, he signed them for me. So, pretty cool guy. But these movies, they're, they're pretty fucking sick. They make me sick. Okay. One of the cooler ones, one of my favorites, just because this guy's no longer with us and he was a great guy, is uh, Bob Clark signed the DVD of Black Christmas. And a uh, really great movie, and he was a great filmmaker. It's a shame he's not with us anymore. Another cool one. A lot of people may not have seen this DVD because this was like one of the original Cannibal Holocaust discs. <clears throat> um, actually, one of the first DVDs I ever bought. Um, is It's a substance copy. Um, see the substance releasing or whatever. Um, Cannibal Holocaust. And it's signed by Ruggiero Diodato. And I got this. I actually sent this to his office in Italy. And uh, got it. So, on to Rack 2. Child's Play, signed by Tom Holland. And you may get a... You may see a little bit of a connection with a lot of these autographed DVDs. Because a lot of these people we've had on the show. So, Tom Holland's a cool dude. Had him on. 
somebody we've never had on the show, but I, I, would, I would be scared would be Ted Michaels of the Corpse Grinders. Yes. He also did Astro Zombies. Really weird, weird fucking movie. Um, I think the whole deal with this one is uh, there's a killer on the loose who chops the victims up and makes cat food out of them. Something like that. Something weird like that. I only saw it like once. It was strange. Uh, another one. Creep Show 2. Signed by Michael Gornick, the director. And I've always been a big fan of Creep Show 2. It was actually the first Creep Show movie I'd seen back when I was a kid. So Really cool to have that one. And uh, another one I highly recommend, and he's a part of the Dead, Dead Pit site now, is J. Reels Dawn. And uh, he signed this one for me, and it's a great little movie. Uh, you can check it out on, you can actually buy it on the Dead Pit website, I believe. So, check it out if you haven't seen it yet. I don't know what you're smoking if you haven't, because it's a great movie. <clears throat> Another great one independent on the independent side is Dead Shit from our good buddies at Hack Movies. Uh, my buddy Kevin Strain signed that one for me, so good deal. Check them out, hackmovies.com. Uh, <clears throat> getting into the multiple autograph items. This one right here is signed, this is Don't Go in the Woods Alone, signed by the cast, uh, along with the director, which is pretty cool. Tom Drury, the killer right there, he signed it. On to rack three. Alright, so rack number three, and i got to pull this big bad boy out because it is technically a DVD, and it's the Evil Dead Book of the Dead, which when the... When this fucking thing came out, this was like the coolest fucking DVD ever. I mean, I remember buying this the week it came out. Best Buy had like a fuck ton of them. And uh, it was awesome and it still is awesome, although it's a little dusty now. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got, y'all. Open this motherfucker up. I'll attempt to with one hand. It's a little difficult. But, uh, uh, cool story behind this horror find 04 horror find 04 Tom Sullivan met the dude cool dude and uh, he signed right there lick the blood off my shovel your beast fiend Tom Sullivan he actually signed the little creeping skull deal that he does for everybody but at the time I didn't know that and I thought it was fucking awesome it still is so uh, again I mean if you haven't, haven't got this this is a really cool little set that uh, and they actually did a part two which I have as well but don't have it signed so put that up for the time being and move onward um, just a really quick one I already have his autograph on the poster as well uh, Victor Miller from Friday the 13th. I got that through the mail. Now, definitely, if not the best signed DVD, top two. And you'll know what the other one is shortly. Um, this one, of course, has a slipcase on it. Okay. This one is signed by... Pretty much every Jason besides Ari Lehman and Steve Dash. They have signed it. Uh, they signed the back, yeah. A couple people signed the back. Along with all the producers and stuff from, um, his name was Jason. And the, his name was Jason also came off the poster. And I'm not going to get that out, but I'll show you at some point when I have it framed. It's folded up in here. It's signed by like, I don't know, a total. it's like 20 some people signed it from throughout the whole series. So it's one of the coolest fucking things. And I got this at a private signing in California. Um, so yeah, it's definitely one of the coolest ones. Because a lot of these guys, I, I never had their autograph before. Like Dick Wynn from Part 5, Warrington Gillette, who was sort of in Part 2. Um, Derek Mears down there. 
they signed it. Um, you know, fuck Ted White right there. A lot of these guys I never had their their autographs before, so I thought it was really cool. Now the next one I have is very similar to this one, and I'll get it out as well. It's Halloween 25 Years of Terror. And I got this again in California at a private signing. Um, and it's fucking signed by a ton of motherfuckers. I don't want to even go into names. <laughs> you know, but I see George P. Wilbur, Tommy Lee Wallace, uh, John Carl Beekler, I think uh, Brian Andrews, Danielle Harris, Daniel Ferrans, director of a writer of part five or part six. Um, it's signed by even people on the back again. Um, so it's it's another one like these two, in my opinion. And let's turn the light off for the time being. Maybe you can see a little bit better. Um, definitely my two favorite signed DVDs. I mean, nothing comes. I mean, look at look. It's fucking awesome. Look at them. But that's the end of part. Of, I guess of rack three, so let's go on to rack four, and I'm not going to be able to top these, so just get a good glimpse at them. Okay, kind of a odd angle here. I'm going to try to get some of this stuff in here though, without getting out. Okay, this is Hell Knight. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that's signed by Tom DeSimone, who we actually had on the show. So I got this through the mail. The guy doesn't do any conventions or anything. He hasn't. Actually hasn't uh, been asked to do him, believe it or not. And he directed fucking Hell Knight. Go figure. And you have fucking Andrew Bonarski doing these goddamn conventions. Um, another one that you're going to see a remake of a little bit later on this year is The House on Sorority Row. And for a while there, I was trying to collect... Um, let's zoom in a little bit there. I was trying to collect... Um, slasher director's autographs from like the 80s and I don't know I sort of just gave up after a little while but uh, it's one of my fucking cats wanting in uh, Mark Rossman the director that signed that one for me so thought that one was really cool and we move onward uh, Leatherface Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3 and uh, Jeff Burr signed that one So, and that is all for Rack 4 so that was a short one you can see I'm down on the floor, and yeah, Noodles was wanting in, so I opened the door up, but uh, I'm going to do the bottom rack, which I guess is like rack five or something, so let's see what we got. Oh yeah, number two, number two, Monster, just signed by the, the writers and directors, I believe. Dan Burr and uh, David West. Uh, sorry, I, <laughs> I know the guys are fans of the show, but uh, I can't remember your names, dudes. So, and there's only. Did I really need to even get in the fucking floor? Probably not. <clears throat> Another cool one. Cast signed this shit. Return of the Living Dead. And this is signed by like fuck. This is fucking signed by almost everybody. Jewel Shepherd, Clue Gulliger, uh, Beverly Randolph. A lot of people say that. A lot of people signed it. And even the back, yeah, Don Don Kappa signed the back. So <clears throat> the other side, Savage Harvest, signs by Eric Stanzi and uh, some other dude. I like Wicked Pixel stuff. They're good guys. Alright, more shit. I know I have more shit up here. Let's turn the light on for the subject to see. <clears throat> Maybe no more on this one. Oh, yeah, another really cool one that uh, I know a lot of people will froth the mouth over. Yeah, baby! Christina Lamberg, if you will! Thriller, a cruel picture! She signed this DVD for me, baby, and then she showed me her boobies. Well, not really, but uh, I did get a signed DVD of Thriller, A Cool Picture. Probably, in my opinion, the coolest fucking movie Synapse has ever released. 
and they've released a lot of cool ones trust me uh, some more stuff real quick round this shit this shitter up because you know we spent so much time doing this undead the uh, British DVD which has the better artwork uh, signed by the Sparig brothers the directors of undead Shut up, Noodles! A um, bit of a underrated slasher movie, uh, The Undertow, which uh, is signed by one of the, I guess, the stars of the movie, Jason Christ. And I highly recommend this one. This is a good one. Uh, well, I guess the last one, the only one I can remember, at least, that I've got left, you can't really even see the damn autograph on it. But um, it was signed by Anthony Hickox, the, the director of both of these Waxworks movies. So I suppose all of you homosexuals have seen the signed DVD collection from the Creepy Kentucky. And now you must die. <laughs> But uh, no, seriously, I'm going to try to do some more of these videos. Maybe not Diary of the Dead Pits, but I've got a lot, a lot of ideas for creepy, crappy movie reviews. So uh, maybe enough to do, even do a sweeps week of nothing but creepy, crappy movie reviews. So until then, I am the Creepy Kentuckian, and thank you guys for watching. And always tune in at the number one rated horror talk radio show on the planet Earth. We're dead, bit. Dot com.